That's a big king snake, dude. Holy shit. Alright, well, road cruising was fun last night. We didn't really see any snakes except for a DOR brown snake. We saw, you know, a decent little selection of, of, of common amphibians, but um, we're up in the morning now. It's time to go to Florida. We kind of got our asses beat by the rain, but we conquered it. You know, I just realized I can turn the light on. I'm so stupid, but <laughs> we're gonna head out here, get some breakfast, and uh, see what adventures it, uh, see what ev advent, see what adventures await. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, <laughs> Birmingham. We made it. We are at Morrison Springs. We're fixing to do something I have always wanted to do and swim in some of the pristine and clear spring waters of Florida. This is gonna be cool. We could see snakes, we could see eels apparently. There's all kinds of cool stuff we could see while doing this. I'm coming up on the springs now. Let's take a look. Just kidding. Turns out Morrison Springs got flooded out by the river right next to it. So instead, we went right down the road to Ponce de Leon Springs and just take a look at how amazing this place was. Here we are, Ponce de Leon Springs. That is freaking amazing. Holy crap, that is so beautiful. Oh my god, that is beautiful. All right, do I look ready? All right, you ready to get in? All right.
Okay, there's a brown water snake right there. This is not a rare species, but I've never seen one before, and I've wanted to for a very long time. So I'm gonna catch them. It's gonna have to be really quick because they can be kind of tricky. All right, I'm just gonna sneak up on him. He's decent size too. Okay, three, two, one. Got him, I got him, I got him. Holy crap, that is a big snake. Oh, it's a brown water snake. Oh, wow. Hey, pal. Holy crap, look at that. Look at that. I've wanted to see one of these things for so long. I mean, it's not rare or anything, but I just, you know, I just haven't been within range of them ever. Well, not often, at least. And you can see he's flattening his head out like that, trying to look like a venomous snake, but it's all a bluff. He is completely harmless. Holy crap, look at that thing. <laughs> yeah, I've been knocking off my targets for this trip, just bang, bang, boom so far. And this is no exception. Look at that. That's fantastic. Hey, pal. How's is it he going? musking? Not really. Oh my god, his head is just so big. big. Yeah, it's just giant. Look awesome. at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Brown water snake. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens. Right now he's focused on you, so he's not really... Wow. Isn't Unreal. that cool? Look at this. So I got my nice camera out so y'all can whoop, so y'all can see him right here. This is a brown water snake, Neurodia something. I don't really know what the other part of its Latin name is, but yeah, just look at that pattern. You know, these guys are known for getting really, really fat and big. You know, this is a decent sized individual, but they can get quite a bit larger than this. And he's just over here in these springs, and the river's r running off of it. I got a bit of a crowd going on here, so it's a good educational moment, but that is awesome. All right, well, we're here in Ponce de Leon, Florida, and we got what we uh, were hoping to see. I mean, we came just to, you know, swim in the springs and stuff over here, but in the back of my mind, I was really hoping to see one of these. This is a brown water snake. Now, this is a pretty common species down here. You know, they're not rare, but I don't see them hardly ever since I live in Tennessee, and, you know, we don't get these in Tennessee. But, you know, uh, we found them off in the trail over there, and our cameras were over here, so we brought them over here. Had a great educational moment. Got to show all these people this snake and let them uh, learn a thing or two about them and uh, you know, spread the good word about snakes so that not as many people are afraid of them. He's been great, you know, he's only struck or, you know, gotten defensive maybe once or twice. And that's because, you know, the camera was right up in his face, but uh, yeah, you can get a nice look at him right there. It's fantastic. All right, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put him back where we found him and uh, see what else this place has to offer. Hopefully some alligators. Just kinda set him up in the branches and this thing. Look at that. There he goes. Back into the water. Ah, that was awesome. <laughs> that was unbelievably beautiful. I mean, like, that spring was absolutely incredible. And we got to see a brown water snake plus uh, a few turtles and a bunch of other cool things. But we're done with that for the day, and we've got some time left over. And uh, we've been seeing a few DOR snakes on the way here, and I was like, you know what, I think we should go road cruising. So I found a place nearby that goes to this WMA, and I think we might get lucky and cruise something. We're headed there on our way now, and I guess we gotta try our luck and see what happens. Alrighty, uh, it's nighttime now. Uh, it's not really warm enough to be cruising stuff, so we're kind of out around where we're camping and looking for stuff to flip. There's a few tin stacks, there's a few like boards and stuff kind of lying around, so we're gonna sort of rummage through here and see if we can't find anything. Alright, well we found this little tin stack where we're staying at here. And you know how tin stacks can be, so we're gonna go ahead and flip this just see if anything's in it because this kind of deal is where you get snakes. Oh my gosh, racer, racer. racer. Aha! Oh my gosh, okay. Um, Give me uh, the flashlight. Yeah, yeah. Just, Ooh! Yeah, you good? Yeah. Alright, sorry. Just, Don't get him stuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna. <laughs> this is kind of tricky. 
Oh, there was a snake in it. <laughs> How ironic. You want to set that down? Look at that. Ow, yeah, you got me. <laughs> so yeah, this is a southern He's about black. to go into his... Uh... He is in his opaque cycle. Yeah, check that out. See how his eye is all fogged up? His eye is nice and fogged up right there. So yeah, this is a southern black racer. This is like the most common snake that you're probably going to be finding around this kind of area. You know, it's common, but I'm always happy to see it as a snake. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we just literally found this little tin stack out where we're staying, and uh, sure enough, he was <laughs> sitting in it. It's funny because this is a strictly diurnal species, and I was talking about earlier how you typically wouldn't really see these out moving at night, and that's a perfect example is that he was actually undercover, you know, at nighttime uh, sleeping since he's a diurnal species. You know, some snakes out right now would, you know, are nocturnal. Here there, pal. So they'd be out at night, but this guy, not so much which is why we found him undercover actually at night. That's really, really cool. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm gonna get a few little quick pictures and videos and then let him on his way. Very nice. He's right there. I think he was like about that layer. Second, second, Something third. like that. Very cool. I wasn't really uh, sure if this would actually have anything, but hey, it, did. it did. Tin stacks are always great. <laughs> Well, today has been a fantastic day. We're sitting here by the campfire. We've just been having a fantastic time. And tomorrow is Pensacola, and I am super, super pumped. It's gonna be awesome. And hopefully we'll get our target species, the Eastern Diamondback Rattlesnake, pretty soon. And uh, we're just having a great time. So, I'll we'll see what happens tomorrow. And I can't know how you feel. Damn, I hate it.